Lurking in the cold, dark waters off Norway and Greenland was a creature so mighty, tales of its strength sent shivers down the spines of sailors. Celebrated in maritime legends for centuries, this is the story of the Kraken. It was Aristotle, the Greek philosopher, who first described this large squid, written in his book, history of animals in the fourth century. This was followed then by Pliny the Elder, a Roman author who described a huge squid with arms measuring more than nine meters. By the 13th century, we had Icelandic seafaring folklore. Tales of the Kraken started to spring to life. Thereon in tales of the gargantuan sea monsters became commonplace and sealed its name, the Kraken, in Norse folklore. Beware the Kraken. Sailors describe the Kraken as a gargantuan beast, the size of a small island, and it resembled something like an octopus or squid. It was said to have tentacles or arms that were capable of enveloping a ship and pulling it down into the ocean's depths. Such tales put the fear of God into those that sailed the seas. By the 1600s, Danish author Erik Pontoppertin described the Kraken's ship-sinking abilities, creating these massive whirlpools that would bring the ships down. Fast forward to 1857, Danish zoologist Jakob Seenstrup had compiled many stories and reports of washed up animals, including a very large squid beak, which seemed to confirm there were indeed Kraken-like creatures in the sea. However, a key question remains, did the Kraken actually exist? Might these legends of mythical beasts be the result of encounters with giant squids? Well, it's possible. Giant squids or Archiduthus ducks are the biggest invertebrates on earth. They are carnivores that can weigh up to 400 pounds. And while some claim they can reach up to 20 meters, it's thought that typically there are more conservative 13 meters in length. Unlike octopuses that have eight arms and no tentacles, squid have eight arms and two tentacles. Giant squids are seldom seen because they live at great depths in the sea, making it really hard for scientists to study them. Instead, research has had to be conducted on giant squids that have been found dead and washed ashore, or carcasses that have been hauled in by fishermen. It wasn't until 2004 was one near complete giant squid accidentally caught by fishermen off the Falkland Islands and the body was immediately frozen and taken to the Natural History Museum in London for study and preservation. Researchers called this squid Archie and they extracted DNA from the animal and this confirmed indeed there was only one giant squid species. It's estimated that these cephalopods can live around five to six years. And it wasn't until most recently, on the 16th of August 2022, did another one wash up off the Western Cape of South Africa. The Kraken symbolized the perils of the sea, embodying the awe-inspiring power and mystery of nature. And while there's no recorded incidents of giant squid actually attacking ships or men, its imposing presence and elusive nature make these giant squid the prime suspects for the Kraken's real-life counterpart.